ChatGPT got a pretty big update when it comes to spreadsheets, Excel sheets, CSVs, Google Sheets, everything above the board. Therefore, in today's video, we're going to learn everything we can do when it comes to data sets in ChatGPT's new user interface. Let's jump into today's video. Welcome back, y'all. In today's video, we're going to check out everything we need to know when it comes to data sets and ChatGPT. I've done videos on this in the past. But we've got a pretty big update here. I've also worked with platforms across different AI language models. So I'm going to give you my opinion on whether or not I think this was a big big update or maybe just a slight interface change. Let's find out how to start using ChatGPT for data analysis. Let's do use case number one. To showcase use case number one, which is gonna be internally creating data sets, we're gonna simply ask, give me a data set for the median age for all major cities within the USA. Let's hit enter here. We'll get prompted of analyzing here. Perfect, so we've gone in a user interface like this in the past, but a couple of things have changed. The first major thing that's changed is this little expand button here, and we can actually download the table now. First, let's go ahead and expand the table. And just as a side note, when you download data sets, it downloads as a .csv. I'm gonna go ahead and shrink down here. Now with this new user interface, we have the relevant data set over here, and then we have the chat over here. Let's check out one cool feature right off the bat. We can actually visualize the data set as a graph. I'm gonna simply prompt visualize this data set as a graph. Once prompted, we are gonna get a nice little graph here, which probably isn't too relevant for this data set, but it's cool to see that we can get visual elements here. We can actually right click. If I right click, I can save this image to my desktop if I choose to do so, or alternatively, you know, screenshot it. We have our median ages by major cities in the USA, and this is one of the first major features that you may wanna start using. Now let's say we are done looking at the visual element and we don't wanna look at a chart anymore. All we need to do is come up to this minimize option here. Let's check out another feature that's pretty cool here is we can actually reference specific rows and columns within the data sheet. So let's say we had a data sheet that had a ton of different rows and columns. What we can do here is we can simply grab and select. And what you'll notice is that it is referencing the eight cells that we've selected. And from these eight cells, we can ask specific questions or rows. So in this context, let's just say, what is the mean for the age here. It will do some analyzing. And from the eight cells I had selected, it gave me the answer of 34.58 years, which shows you the ability to actually manipulate data more effectively than we've seen in the past when it comes to ChatGPT. What's also cool is that ChatGPT actually shows you different types of queries that you could possibly ask as well, such as can you show the age distribution and which city has the youngest median? Let's ask that one. And out of every large city in America, it has come to Columbus. On top of all of that, we can actually add to our data sheets. As you see from this question here, I said add a column showing the median income, and boom, we got our answer there. Therefore, allowing us to add more data to a pre-existing Excel sheet, and on top of that, we can actually download it once we are satisfied. That was pretty solid, but a lot of us don't typically have either spreadsheets, CSV sheets, or Excel sheets on our personal laptop. Sometimes we have it in a Google Drive or OneDrive, and with ChatGPT's new feature here, which you can check out an entire video I did on. It's only four minutes long to see how you integrate it right up there. We're gonna go ahead and import a spreadsheet I have in my drive. Specifically, I'm gonna import a, an example spreadsheet of an annual profit and loss template sample here. Let's go ahead and upload it to our drive. Assuming that we have a lot of data sets found within the cloud, we can access it very easily now. You just hit this paper clip, go to connected apps, or actually add from Google Drive because I've already connected it, click it, and select. Now that we have it selected and uploaded to our ChatGPT UI, we can ask relevant questions within the data set. And just to gut check this to prove that it actually is reading the data set and it isn't just giving you fake answers, let's go ahead and ask which year had the highest cost for CAGS. From the relevant data here, we can see that that was 2025. Coming back over to ChatGPT here, we're going to say which year had the highest, if I can spell, total cost of COGS. Now, what you'll notice is that sometimes the formatting is a little weird, but that just has to do with the fact of how it's imported from ChatGPT into its UI. It is typically better to import CSVs with ChatGPT. As of now, that seems to be the most natively, you know, best way to integrate data sheets within ChatGPT, but we can still try to do Excel sheets and spreadsheets. It took a couple of tries, but it did work here. It went ahead and found 2025 with the value 200, showcasing that it is able to read the actual underlying data sheet. Now that we've imported it as well as a Google Sheet, we can actually either go to the Google Sheet as showcased here, or alternatively work within ChatGPT's user interface. Again, ask relevant questions. It's not perfectly formatted. As I said before, CSV is gonna be your best bet in this context, but you can still ask questions that are relevant and you'll get relevant answers. What do y'all think? Are you gonna start using ChatGPT as your data analysis? Are you using other AI language models? Let me know in the comments down below that you think are more effective. I am aware that Google Gemini now integrates within Google's ecosystem. Also Copilot integrates within Microsoft 365's ecosystem. I've done videos on that as well. You can check them out. Make sure you leave a like, it's completely free. 
I'll see you in the next video. This playlist right here goes over all the new updates we've been seeing with ChatGPT and what could be relevant to you personally. That's a random video. I'm probably going to look for an Excel video I've done in the past that may be relevant to you right now. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.